You've heard of the New Deal. You've heard of the Square Deal, the Fair Deal. Mitt Romney's trying to give you a sketchy deal. A sketchy deal. And, and it's really just a one-point plan, not a five-point plan. One point. Folks at the very top play by a different set of rules than all of you. If Listen, it, don't boo, vote. <laughs> if he offered you that deal when he was in corporate finance, you wouldn't give him a dime. So why would you give him his vote? This, this same philosophy that's been squeezing the middle class family for more than a decade, the same philosophy that got us into this mess, we can't go back to that. I've met, I've met too many good Americans who work so hard, show so much resilience, so much resolve. We have been fighting our way back from some of the same policies he's advocating. We have been there. We have tried it. We can't go back. We are moving forward. And that's why I'm running for a second term as President of the United States. The choice between going backward and moving forward has never been so clear. But now that we're 18 days out from the election, Mr. Severely Conservative wants you to think he was severely kidding about everything he said over the last year. He told folks he, he was the ideal candidate for the Tea Party. Now suddenly he's saying, what, who, me? He, he's forgetting what his own positions are, and he's betting that you will too. I mean, he, he's changing up so much and backtracking and sidestepping. We've got we, we, we've to we've name this condition that he's going through. I think, I, I, I think it's called Romnesia. That's what it's called. That's what he's going through. Now, uh, I'm not I'm not a medical doctor, but I but I do want to go over some of the symptoms with you because I want to make sure nobody else catches it. If you know, if you say if you say you're for equal pay for equal work, but you keep refusing to say whether or not you'd sign a bill that protects equal pay for equal work. You might have amnesia. If you say women should have access to contraceptive care, but you support legislation that would let your employer deny you contraceptive care, you might have a case of amnesia. If you say you'll protect a woman's right to choose, but you stand up at a primary debate and said that you'd be delighted to sign a law outlying, uh, outlying that right to choose in all cases, Man, you definitely got Romnesia. Now, this extends to other issues. If you, if you say earlier in the year, I'm going to give a tax cut to the top 1%, and then in a debate you say, I, I don't know anything about giving tax cuts to rich folks. That, 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 you, you, need to, yeah, you, you need to get a, a, a thermometer and... Take your temperature, because you, you probably got Romnesia. If, if you say that you're, you're, you're a champion of the coal industry, when, while you were governor, you stood in front of a coal plant and said, this plant will kill you. That's some Romnesia. So, so the, I, I think you're being able, you're, you're beginning to be able to, to identify these symptoms. And, and if you come down with a case of amnesia, <laughs> and you can't seem to remember the policies that are still on your website, or the promises you've made over the six years you've been running for president, here's the good news. Obamacare covers pre-existing conditions. 